<laughs> so, yes, today we're talking about the Knight of Wands. I love that ring of fire. Absolutely. It's very appropriate for him, isn't it? Yes, I mean, yes it, it is. really, really is. Yes, he's exciting, isn't he? And he's adventurous. And yeah, I, I would imagine him like in a sort of, you know, a jousting kind of competition or whatever like he, he would he would want to kind of like he he would want to charge in on his horse and have the crowds going crazy for him yes and a lot of posing like yeah look at me look at me <laughs> he definitely absolutely and i know i mentioned this before um in a reading but like J Justin Bieber I remember going to see him when Greta was a little girl at Wembley and he literally he flew his entrance was flying over the audience with great big angel wings and and I just think that's terribly Knight of Wands actually oh yeah you know, that, that was his arrival it was spectacular that and I think awesome. I think the Knight of Wands would make the most spectacular entrance you know when he walks in the room it would just light up at, you know and i think it would be quite deliberate yes oh yeah yeah he knows he looks good so he's gonna let the yeah. world you know bask in his beauty absolutely and i know he's i know the the elements fire but he feels very libra to me oh gosh yeah yeah that yes Stylish, yeah. He would not set foot out of the house without looking great, you know. It's because, well, don't they sort of say with models, you know, you could be photographed at any time without you realizing it. So you've got to look, you've got to always look good. Yeah, yep, you've got to. That that yeah. would be hard, uh, I think. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll stay in my pajamas twenty four seven. So that's, to me, that would be impossible. Strange. That is a strain, isn't it? But. Uh, but not for him, because that, that's who he is and that's what he does. It, you know, it would be more of a strain for him not to look amazing, I think. Yeah. Nature is to, is to kind of impress. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and he's got that giant fire plume on his head and fire coming off his back and those little feathers in their caps um on the the court cards for wands um that shows their passion and and their energy and you notice like the little the little page had just a little feather because he was just starting but this yes. man knows his passion he knows what he wants and yeah. he's getting ready to go get it and look damn good doing it yeah <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i mean i definitely see him as you know like the very flamboyant pop star you know maybe like elton john in his heyday some people might think elton john looked like a bit of a joke with his glasses or or whatever but the fact of the matter is that's what and that's how he felt good you know what i mean with the costume on it, it was kind of like he, he he would have to make an entrance. He's Freddie Mercury. He's he's Elton John. He's the showman, I think. Oh yes, definitely. And 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 public opinion as far as what fashion is, be damned. He's gonna be him. He's got the courage to yes. be him. He's not gonna wear what everybody else is wearing. He's gonna stand out. Yes, absolutely. He'd be a really good card for a shopping trip. <laughs> or Betty and Wilma when they'd go charge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But I also kind of like, well, I suppose you could say this about the the Knight of Swords, but is he, you know, is he a kind of mo motorbike kind of um you know, do you remember Evil Knievel, or was he British? I, I think everybody <laughs> from our era remembers Evil Knievel, yes. Yeah, you know, I just sort of, or I, he's, I just think he's a real performer. And I, the interesting thing is, like you putting him inside that ring of fire, to me, he, he would probably choose that ring of fire if he was choosing his own advertising. It's perfect for him because I, I almost see him come charging through it, you know? 
and as far as the knight of swords and the knight of wands i really think the knight of wands would be more evil knievel because the knight of swords does things without rational thought he just thinks and does where the yeah. knight of wands he's planned that out more yeah. showmanship he would yeah, yeah. evil it's, a, it, was... it's a performance isn't it yes it is i mean is he genuine maybe he <laughs> is because it's sort of natural to him i would say I I would question it, if it more if it was in reverse. Yeah. Like whether it really is just completely and utterly fake. Um, but I do think you get people that are natural natural show people that are kind just... of at home when they're on a stage when they when they're in front of a crowd. Yeah. It's that's where they are exalted, as you would say in. Um, um, astrology, like you've got your you've got your rule. In astrology, you've got your rulers when the, when they're at home, actually. But then there is a place when they're actually exalted, where they really, really become the person that they want to be. And I think the Knight of Wands, when he's when he's allowed to to be himself and be who he wants to be, I think he's divine. I, I you know, mm. I kind of like. I just feel that he's. I feel he's pretty impressive and pretty amazing when and he's, I, at, yeah, when he's at his best. And I do find him tr genuine because he is being true to himself. Yes. Yeah. Maybe possibly one of the most genuine cards because he's being true to himself and he's sharing that glory with others. I don't know. I love him. I love him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I would say he is the life and soul of the party, mm -hmm. and, and, and he will absolutely kind of rise to the occasion. You know, I, I would imagine he he's the sort of person that you would deliberately invite to your party because if you want these big personalities there, and you just you want a party that's got some sort of you know vibrancy and some sort of energy about it, you, you have to have him there. You have to have that nature at your party if you want it to be a party to be remembered or your uh, your event yeah i think he's... he's great would you want him as a boyfriend no <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not he uh i i mean i bet he's beautiful and and i bet he's a lot of fun but there's a spontaneity to him that i would never be able to keep up with maybe when i was younger but now it's i like to sit at home with my feet up and and chill or read a book yeah. and i would bore the hell out of him i would bore yeah, the there, is, there is a point where you just kind of know that you've grown out of you've grown out of Bit, want, even wanting to be with a, a knight of wands type person yeah you know yeah. That it, it's kind of it doesn't sort of like suit you oh, it might do. I mean, there might be some people i mean if you were like madonna for example i mean we don't really know what she's really like when she's yeah. a pope, but, but on the face of it do you do you think she would be do you think she would want to be with a knight of wands type person she might she might, from her public persona, I would say absolutely. Yeah. But that kind of persona takes so much energy to present. When she's at home and in her personal space, she may just want to sit around with her feet up, reading a book. I don't know, do we? Yeah. That yeah. kind of energy that the Knight of Wands has is really hard to maintain. Definitely. So. Definitely. And 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 that and that Knight of Wands energy. Not only that, I think it needs constant attention and if it's not getting the constant attention it will it will be gone to somewhere where it is getting the constant attention exactly yes absolutely he needs to be fawned over and and not in a in a classic like psychological narcissistic way i mean but just naturally it's not it's not mean i need to be fawned over but it is deep yeah now, i i I see this one in a military aspect as well. Okay, and yeah. I, probably like, sure, nobody cares, but no. no, no you, you see them all in a military way, and I see them all in a theatrical way. It's interesting, <laughs> isn't it? It's funny. 
<laughs> but I love that because it shows how how he can be much the same, but but in different environments and energies, or how we see him vastly different. But I see him as like a squad leader or even a commander, not like the general commander, but he would be more one that inspires troops. He would be good for inspiration. He yeah. wouldn't actually go into the thick and the fray of the fighting because he's too visible. He'd be like, he'd have a target on his back. Right. But he would be the one to, to, like I see him on that horse riding back and forth in front of, front of his troops, giving an inspirational speech. Yeah, motivational speaker sort of type of yes. person. Oh, yes. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, he could be a, a, like a sex symbol. Oh, God, symbol, yeah. You know, film star. Um, he could be he could be a great sportsman, actually. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, like David Beckham, who's like a great um, footballer. Never but heard of him. He, <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he's probably... Maybe he's the most. I might get shut down for this because I'm. I'm really not very into football. But he's very famous as a footballer, and he married one of the Spice Girls. And you know that they're, they're, they're on the papers and tabloids for years all the time. And but he's got his own sort of aftershave brand, and you know that they're just they're just they're a brand. The Beckhams, right? You know, so it, he's very much the face of 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 it all. And that is a really good example. I, I've never heard of him because I live in a bubble and, and I'll probably get shot down too because well, I don't give a rat's ass about football. Yeah, I don't know about football. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I do know about David Beckham because get this, he went to the same primary school as me. Seriously? And he really is super famous, yeah. I mean, oh, he's, wow. he's now in his 40s. He's got a grown-up son who's about to get married and all that sort of thing. But yeah. He went to, yeah, but he went, uh, I'd left by the time he went there. But yeah, he went to my primary school. I'm oh, that from. is cool. And he I married thought, a Spice Girl and I love me some Spice Girls. So he's all right. <laughs> he married Posh Spice. Which one? Posh, Victoria. Oh. Yeah, look it up afterwards. Yeah, I will. I will. Yeah. But definitely a showman. He is, but that, that is very David Beckham, the Knight of Wands. Very, very David. Um, I mean, and going back to Madonna, is the Knight of Wands also Madonna? Yes, absolutely. And 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 very much so as far as you got to remember in the 1980s and the 90s, the, the, the experimentation she did with her videos, the shock value of some of her videos. She wasn't afraid to say what she thought. Some of her videos, yeah. people were like, I'm sure some of them were banned because yeah, they, they were, were so doing pornography, weren't they? Yeah. Not only that, but yeah. but I, I know the one um oh god, I can't remember the name of the song, but it had a, a a white woman and a black man having an affair. And in the eighties, that was still in America, like holy shit, what the hell are you doing? And that one was banned because so many people railed against it. But I thought it was beautiful because she was like saying, there's nothing wrong with this. Mm. She she was Knight of Wands energy that could change the world. And I believe she actually did change the world because she addressed topics through her music and her videos that the rest of us were just sedentary about and just accepting that this the way the this is the way the world is. I believe that woman changed the world with Knight of Wands energy. Well, you've got to have a Knight of Wands energy to even attempt to change the world, haven't you? Let, yes. Let's be honest. Yes. You, you have to. Um, Fearless. Yeah. 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 Fearless. Exactly. Like you don't care what other people sort of think. But also <laughs> thoughtful. I mean, he's not just going to do it to shake things up. He's going to do it in a way that even if it gets banned, people are still going to be talking about it and remembering it and thinking about it. But as a person who 
does like like what we're doing like the tarot when we're doing these videos we totally believe in it we totally believe in the tarot and what you know we are passionate about it in a funny kind of way we are being knight of wands you know because we are trying to move it forward we're trying to kind of drive it forward let people know about it we are enthusiastic about it oh, we're not yes. kind of like you know well you know there's this card called the knight of wands and this means i mean we know we're excited about it we are <laughs> and that is that that, that knight of wands energy yes you know, that if you and and i kind of feel it is certainly an advance from the page who has limited experience with the thing by the time you are the knight of wands the, the, whatever the thing is it's got into your system you absolutely believe in it you you want to share it with other people you want to take it out there they're on horses it's got movement in it it's and the, and the, the wands i would say is very driven the yeah. the knight of wands in terms of movement timing that sort of thing um the knight of swords would be the fastest of the knights but i would say followed by the knight of wands in in terms of this is, you know, I, I want I want you to know about this, and I want you to know about it now. I bring it to you now. I'm on, literally, I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, and I think that he's only a beat slower than the swords because yes, yes. he's putting the thought into it to make it make sense to other people yeah. to to bring inspiration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think he's really he's he really does have the wow factor yes he really has the wow factor i mean you know there's all this um you know simon cowell or or what have you and like we we call it the x factor over here and he has got it I, yeah if he were on any of those shows he would be an instant favorite an instant yeah. favorite true charisma and yeah. and charisma is not just physical beauty it's how people are drawn to you i'm there are some people who are not traditionally beautiful that hold so much charisma that look at yeah. Freddie Mercury. Not oh, exactly the the epitome of beauty, but the charisma of that man and the showmanship yeah. made him beyond physical beauty. Absolutely. I mean yeah, absolutely. And and the fact that he was so great at what he did and i Dear believe God. that the knight of wands is extremely good at whatever it is he happens to be you know involved in i i, I, I genuinely genuinely trust his um ability with with the thing that it is that he's sort of bringing yeah he might not be the world's expert at it he might not be the absolute in terms of his um, the amount of knowledge that he's got you know he's young still but he's kind of he knows enough to kind of bring it out there and kind of you know want want to carry on on the journey and he and, and he wants you to come with him uh, he's the one i mean he's the one that shows that even though he might be lacking in particular points of knowledge the passion and the ability to to share that knowledge really propels him i mean i know you wouldn't think of a math teacher as a knight of wands you would think of a math teacher as a completely different suit because it's logic and all of that but have you ever had that one math teacher that all the other math teachers never made sense but this one was so excited about it and yeah, was able to personality. Yes, yes and explain it in a way that everybody understood yeah. it Definitely. that's that teacher that can can impart their knowledge in a way that anybody is can... it um robin williams in um dead poet society yes yes yeah absolutely yes he can come in different shapes and forms can't he i absolutely agree with you sharon i love that what you've just said it it's not it's not the subject it's just it's just the passion yeah that, that he's oozing and, and the therefore, ability therefore to you, you could you know you he'll share that with anyone that is willing to kind of buy into it or believe in him or believe in it yeah i think part of the reason for his existence is to spark that passion in other people yeah yeah that inspiration we, we want to be 
the Knight of Wands, don't we, with these videos? We're, we're, yeah, yeah. If, if we could pre <laughs> recreate the Knight, we do have Harley of Wands. Yes, you know, we do. Yes, we do. But, you know, if we could recreate that Knight of Wands energy, this would be, without a doubt, the channel that everybody kind of like, you know, that's interested in this sort of thing, wants to come to. Because he just oozes that passion, that belief, that, yeah. He's fabulous. What about in reverse, though? I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw a house. I would not trust him. That's a peacock. A vain peacock that's all show and no oomph. That's a player. Okay. I don't, like, I, I don't know if I've said this on any other video. I certainly haven't said it in the card meanings. I literally had someone say to me, right, that they were at... Um, an event it, uh, it, I, I don't know what sort of an event it was and next to them where their stall was was a tarot reader and all day long this person had cues they were really really busy right and at the end of the event the person that that, that, that told me this said should I turn around and I said to them wow I can't believe like how busy you were that was amazing you haven't stopped all day and and the tarot reader turned around and went yeah I don't understand it because I don't really know what I'm doing. I just make it up. Is that not the most hideous thing that you've ever heard? Oh my but God. The Knight of Wands in reverse because that person was obviously in that whole energy around that was obviously attracting people, you know, under totally false pretenses. I'm godsmacked <laughs> it's a hideous story but my eyes twitching oh my god <laughs> you know i don't know what sort of advertising they had it was all come out you know come here find out you know what's going to happen in your love life blah 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 whole thing lies didn't know what they were doing just made it up had the confidence and the front to just make it up that's so Knight of Wands in reverse. It's awful, isn't it? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That's so, what gives us a bad name. On the other hand, like it that. could be someone who genuinely does believe in whatever it is they are doing, but they are just so dull. They are just so, but they just, they just, can't, they don't have the ability or the kind of like the energy to sort of, attract an interest from other people to what they're doing and that's it's, a horrible thing to be yes. to really feel like you have a passion about something but nobody wants to share it because you can't impart it the way that that would make any sense or interest other people that's yeah. a very good interpretation for him in reverse yeah i just i can't I'm having a very difficult time at the moment seeing or thinking of any kind of way I could I could soften him in reverse or even even try to make him, you know, because sometimes it's an abundance of or the opposite of or or too much of. Yeah. Yeah. Lessening yes. of. Um, it could be a lessening of where you have that passion in that that inspiration but not on a on such a high level i don't know yes, it might just be your it's a shame because you just need to have a bit more confidence to take it out there like yeah. it's a little bit like you you you've got the knowledge now and and you've, you've got the interest in it and you've got the enthusiasm but you just don't have the confidence yet to, uh, and you're only going to get the confidence by actually taking it out there and doing it so it could just be that one of those things is missing yeah and the only way that that you will turn it around is by actually going out there and doing it yeah that yeah would i like that mitigate it a little bit yeah but my if first everything response. else in the reading was quite encouraging that the person should pursue this thing but he came up reversed it might just be that he's just not quite ready to boldly, you know, put himself forward. Yeah. 
Yeah, that makes sense. That could be. Maybe. That's better than my initial reaction on seeing today. I was when when you said reverse, my today I was like, I don't trust him. I don't want nothing to do with him. But yeah, he doesn't always have to be that. It's just the way he came yeah, up to me today. I kind of like, I kind of feel that this this person or this energy in the upright position probably does pretty well in life because they rise above negative criticism that they will get criticized they will get criticized they will have people that are intimidated by that yeah. energy you know and and are jealous of it or whatever you know but they rise above it they're absolutely kind of it's like i've got enough people that do follow me that do engage with what i do that i i just have to kind of like leave the others I, i'm not gonna make a i'm not going to apologize for myself or what i believe in i'm just going to drive forward i'm not going to be um affected by negative reviews or whatever i have a, a friend april you know april yeah. and god bless her i i have a habit of apologizing often and um april said to me and she said it several times she says no no sharon you need to be unapologetically leo and i'm gonna get a shirt or a sign made unapologetically leo for and not apologize for for being me yeah. <laughs> i like that with him yeah. unapologetically leo yes. yes i i think i think she's absolutely right you know, Brilliant. if you're going to be, put yourself out there and be confident. I mean, I mean, imagine being Donald Trump or whatever, or one of these kind of people that really put themselves in the limelight, or even Madonna. You're going to get, you're going to get the ones that disapprove and don't like what you do, but you've just got to kind of like, you've got to, you, you cannot please all the people all the time. No, you can't. And and my favourite as... saying, my favourite saying, sorry to talk over you. Okay. My absolute favourite saying, and I, I think I've got this on my Skype, is, unless I've changed it, I think I might have changed it, actually, is um, by Lewis Carroll, who wrote Alice in Wonderland. And, he, and it goes exactly these words. If you limit your actions in life to things that will please everyone, you won't do very much. Oh, I need to write that down after this. I know. To repeat that. It's That's best, excellent. It? It's the best. If you limit your actions in life to things that will please everyone, you won't do very much. And that is the Knight of Wands. That's... You've got to kind of, you've just got to keep going. And maybe it's it's those that can't grasp that that just get affected by the ones that don't like it that flip it into reverse. Maybe yeah. maybe yeah. Your, maybe some of the reverse Knight of Wands should be um you know kind of like don't not trusted but some of them just may lack that confidence yeah or they may yeah. have vulnerability and i don't think he has in the upright not in the upright but i'm i'm glad you said that because in the reverse situation it may be one of those those poor knights of wands that just got slapped down or or took personally that you yeah. know that you can't be so flamboyant yeah. So, speaking of, let me show you this last card, and it was it was cracking me up because you said evil Knievel, right? Oh, oh my He's god! On a motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow. When you said evil Knievel, I was like, did you see my card I picked? <laughs> that is from um, the This Might Hurt Tarot, which I will be doing a deck of the week on. Yeah. December 2nd with my son Marty. No, December 2nd's been and gone. I'm a month behind. I'm a month behind January 2nd. <laughs> By which point that will have already been out before this comes out as well. <laughs> so, whatever. Don't ask me what time it is or when anything's coming. If I tell you something's going to happen in a win, always look the win up because there's a good chance that it's not going to happen for 100 years or it happened 100 years ago. Well, the, the, the nights are good for wins. 
the, the, all of the nights are very good for when is it going to happen and if, and if he comes up in answer to that question it's pretty quickly yes watch yes. this space pretty quickly watch this space speaking of everybody go to www.thepomegranategrove.com sign up for our newsletter and you will always be apprised of what we're doing in the future we have 27 events happening in january alone did i get that month right you did <laughs> but i don't know whether by the time this one goes out we'll be talking about february right right so, we've but, yeah. always got something yeah. going on we have yeah. the deck of the week we have this um card meaning we have tarot astro tarot for every new moon every Red full the moon party, the night, month. party night with the bingo yeah yeah so we've always got a great lot of events happening and our newsletter will keep you apprised and on youtube if you don't mind like subscribe yeah. keep us posted comment keep us going here because we're having a lot of fun doing it but we are tiny bit knights of wands in reverse where we need that feedback to keep we going do. we absolutely do yeah yeah Make us upright nights and on. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Because we do actually care about what y'all think. Very much so. Right. So, on that note, we will brace ourselves for Her Royal Highness, Queen of the Wands. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.